Hey what's up guys? Anna Chandikas here. Have you seen these logos before? I'm sure most of you will answer yes. Today we're going to make this one. So, let's get started. Here I use Adobe Illustrator 2020. But you can also use other versions. First, let's make a circle. In my case the size is 200 by 200 pixels. It needs a color so we can see much clearer. I love orange so I use orange color. Next, we align the object with the artboard. Choose center on both vertical and horizontal alignment. Let's reduce the opacity by around 50%. To make another circle in the middle, I use offset path. Put a value minus 50 pixels. Let's apply a different color for this circle. Press Ctrl C to copy the circle. Using the white arrow, drag the top edge of the inner circle until it touches the edge of the large circle. And then press Ctrl F to paste in place. Think I'll use another different color so we can see better. After that, let's make a rounded rectangle using the tool from the left panel. Size I use is 100 pixels width by 300 pixels height. While on the corner radius, let's put 50 pixels. Move the rectangle in a way that its center touches the edge of the large circle, like so. Then, draw a straight line in the middle of the rectangle. Using black arrow, select both shapes. Go to Pathfinder and choose Divide. Then press Ctrl Shift G to ungroup. Delete the right part of the rectangle. Draw another straight line at the bottom of the large circle. Then select both rectangle and the straight line. Click on the straight line selected. And go to Align. Choose Vertical Align Bottom. Using black arrow again select all objects except for the this straight line. With all objects selected, press Shape Builder icon. Press Alt key or Option key and left click on the shape you don't need to remove it. Hover your mouse to select the shapes you want and left click. Hover again the mouse on the shapes you want and left click again. Don't select the center circle. We need to put color on the shapes, here I choose gradient colors. Delete the unnecessary shapes. So that we now only have two shapes. We can now edit the gradients. Apply any colors you like. To edit the color, just double-click on the small circle. To broaden the color radius, drag the edge of the small circle. I 
from gradient as this will allow you to use multicolor gradients in your objects. Please don't forget to return the opacity of the shape's colors back to 100%, so you can see the full colors. To do this, go to Appearance and select Fill Opacity. Crank it up to max, or opacity 100%. Do the same for the second shape. As you see in full opacity, you can adjust the color better. As you now see in full opacity, you can then adjust the color better. We will export this logo into a PNG format with transparency. Go to File, Export, Export is. Choose your file location, here let's use desktop, so we can find it easier. You can choose higher resolution for even better result. On the background color, select Transparent. This is the result. Alternatively, you can add color on the shape strokes. Let's just use white color. I'm going to export it again and see how it looks. I'm okay with this and let's make our logo mock-up. We can just drag and drop this logo PNG into Adobe After Effects template. After we finish editing logo and taglines in After Effects, we can then pre-render it. I choose AfterCAD XMP4 format. It has good compression and small in size. Here is the result. Well, that is our tutorial today. Hit that bell icon and give a like. See you again on my next tutorials. Stay safe, and have a nice day.